Hello friends. To start, I should say that the old video I made of this has been removed due to its very poor reception, which it received. Uh, which, in retrospect, it was all valid and greatly appreciated. So, I'll try something again, only this time I hope it's received better. But, without any more delay, let's begin our story of Volund Dark Vita. In our story, we follow our main character, Voland. However, he might be better known by his English name, Wayland. Either way, he was a very handy craftsman. And one day, when he was sitting with his brother, Slapfin and Agil, uh, they were greeted by three Valkyries, and apparently they all hit it off because immediately they were all married. Until one day, these Valkyries took off to the battlefields, and while all of the brothers ran after in search of them, Volan chose to stay behind at home and waited for his wife to return while continuing his crafts, specifically his crafts of making rings. But there was a king whose name was Nithith, and having heard of Volan being all alone, sent men at night to catch him. When the men got there, Volan was gone, so the men took the time to steal the ring that he was currently making. Later on, he did return, and the men caught Volan and tied him in chains. The men who were sent to capture Volan gave the rings to N King Nithith, which he then proceeded to give to his daughter. While enslaved, Volan thought of his past with his wife, his brothers, and his brothers' wives. While captured, he was made to work his crafts while enduring pains. Specifically, one that's mentioned is having his hamstrings cut. He stayed captive on an isolated island and stewed thinking of his revenge. One day, the king's sons came to visit Volan, to which Volan sent them on their way and told them to return tomorrow to receive gold. However, upon their return, they received no gold. Volan instead chopped their heads off, scalped their skulls in order to make cups, which he then sent to the king. He then proceeded to make jewels from their eyes and ornaments from their teeth to send to the king's wife, their mother. The daughter of the king, unaware of her brother's demise, came to the island to praise Volan for the rings which he made, to which Volan then proceeded to offer her drinks until she became drunk and then proceeded to take advantage of her. Volan now seemingly at peace talks with the king, who asks him if he's really done what he did, to which Volan confirms, and then the king describes how miserable he is and how the pain he had to endure is far worse than anything he could do to Volan. Volan hears him out until flying away on his flying contraption which he constructed, which we're given very little information of. So, while we are left confused as to who, if anybody, is in the right in the story, we are certainly left with a very striking tale. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I promise to leave this one up, even if its reception is poor. I enjoyed making it, and I think that this time you will enjoy the quality. Thank you for watching, and I really do appreciate the feedback, so comment if you have any, or if no feedback, comment any ideas for videos you might want to see in the future. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.